Hello again. Okay, so um, we have been using Google Forms. Yes. So we collected data using Google Forms, and we're working on our probability project right now. And we want now, we, we in my last video, we took our data, and we sorted it, we calculated probability from it, and that's all fine and great. And now I want to insert this as a summary table into um, either a slide or a Google Doc, like if I'm writing a report. So, okay, we can do that. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a title because, um, you know, it makes sense here because it's a spreadsheet. But if you want to put it in a Google Doc, you want everything labeled and nice and neat so that everybody knows exactly what they're looking at and they don't have to go trying to figure things out. Because if people have to figure things out, they're not going to bother. Okay, so probability summary table. So I want things nice and labeled. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to center it. I'm going to make it super easy to read. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, this person has everything together. We're just going to pretend on that one. Okay. So this is my table. It's nice. I like it. I'm going to put it in something. So, okay. So let's pretend we have Google Docs. Um, now I haven't tried to insert from a Google Sheets into an Excel. I guess I should try that in another video, but right now I'm just looking at Docs. Um, haven't used Docs a whole lot because usually I prefer Excel. But okay, so let's say I have my project report and blah, 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 body of report. Let's see, is it not typing? Lots of words, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so I come down here, I'm ready to put my table in. So here is a summary of the results of my project. Or here's a summary of the ooh, of the data that I collected. Okay, so I want to insert my table. Check this out. In Docs, it's super easy. I go here. I select the table. Control C for copy, or you can right click copy. And then over to my doc, control V. And then ask you this, link to spreadsheet or paste unlinked. Okay, so if this is a one-time thing, you're done, you're not making any changes to your spreadsheet, um, you just want to make a report, you would paste it unlinked probably because there's no reason to link it. If your data is changing, so like say this is a monthly thing and you're having to turn in a monthly report of, of expenses or something like this and your spreadsheet's going to be updated every month, then I would totally paste it. I would link it to spreadsheet because then if you make changes on the spreadsheet, once you click over into here, it'll give you an option to update. So I'm going to paste. And there's my table. Simple as that. Now, sometimes it cuts off this top border. I don't know. We could probably figure that out. I haven't really looked at it that much. Um, I also usually like to, I like to center my stuff. Again, I haven't done this. I haven't used this a whole lot. So I would probably, let's see if I could select everything. Let's see if it lets me do it this way. Uh, no, that just aligned the data in the table. I know that you can, sometimes you can find the table properties. I found that one time. You can, if you, if you get to the table properties, oh, maybe it's down here. Then alignment. And I don't want so, I want table alignment. I can align the table center and I'll put the, t the table in the center of my page if you want that. Maybe you want it over on the left side. That's totally fine. The default is to the left. So, okay, so that's all you do. So now since this is linked, if I go back here and I change and say maybe there were like, there were, 100, there were 180 um, responses. Let's say there were 500. Notice that all my probabilities change. When I go back over here, it has a button that says update. If I update it, it puts all the new data in there. So now it says 500 and the probability is all changed. This is super handy if you're going to be doing this like over and over. I'm going to undo that because I don't want to mess up my table. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to update my table again. But yeah, that's super handy. Um, you do the same thing for slides. I'm about to run out of time. The only thing that you have to realize in slides is that you have to insert it onto a blank slide. So you can't insert it into a text box or it'll do funny things. So if you want to insert it here, you just control V into that. Again, you can link it, not link it, and it'll paste it right in. If you if you put it into a text box, it just it messes up. 